Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to find a distance between points that are diagonal from each other. While you can find the timestamps here, they're also linked in the description. While it's easier to find the distance between horizontal points like here and vertical points like here, it takes a little bit more work to find the distance between diagonal points like here. To find the distance between this point of negative two comma negative one and this point of negative eight comma seven, we need to find their horizontal and vertical distance from each other. This segment right here represents how far these points are from each other horizontally. And this segment right over here represents their distance from each other vertically. This horizontal distance right over here is gonna be six units, while our vertical distance here is eight units. To get the horizontal distance, we can use the x coordinates of the ordered pairs. Since negative two and negative eight are in the same quadrant, we can subtract their absolute values to find out the horizontal distance. The absolute value of negative eight is going to be positive eight and the absolute value of negative two is gonna be positive two. Eight minus two is going to be six. For our vertical distance, we can look at the y values here. Since they're in different quadrants, we can add their absolute values to find the vertical distance. The absolute value of negative one is positive one and the absolute value of seven is seven. One plus seven is gonna get us eight units. And this is how you would find the horizontal and vertical distance without using a coordinate plane. At this point, you may be wondering what this has to do with finding the distance between the original two points. Let's call the distance between our two diagonal points C. It turns out that when you take the horizontal distance and square it, then take the vertical distance and square it, and you add those two together, you'll always get the diagonal distance squared. In this case, our horizontal distance is six, so we have six squared plus, and our vertical distance is going to be eight, so that's going to be eight squared, that's going to equal c squared. 6 squared is going to equal 36, and 8 squared is going to equal 64. The sum of these two squares is going to equal c squared. 36 plus 64 is going to be 100, and that's equal to c squared. And if we take the square root of both sides here, we find that c is going to be equal to 10 units. Using this process, we can find the distance between any two points, including ones that are diagonal from each other. The distance between these two points is going to be 10 units. To summarize, we should square the horizontal distance, then square the vertical distance, add those two together, and take the square root of it to find out the length of the diagonal. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna be going through five different examples. While some of them will have rational solutions, others will have irrational solutions. Let's do some math together. Here we're gonna find the distance between negative two comma four and negative five comma eight. This is an x and a y, and this is also going to be x and a y. To find the horizontal distance between these two points, we have to use their x coordinates. Since they're both negative, we're going to take the absolute value of negative 5 and subtract the absolute value of negative 2. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3 units. Now let's find their vertical distance from each other. Since they're both positive, we can subtract their absolute values to find their distance. The absolute value of 8 is going to be 8, and the absolute value of 4 is going to be 4. 8 minus 4 is just going to be 4 units. Now that we have our horizontal distance and vertical distance, we can find the distance between these two points. Remember that if you square the horizontal and vertical distance and add them together, you'll always get the distance you're looking for squared. Since our horizontal distance was 3, we can write 3 squared plus, and our vertical distance was 4, so we can write 4 squared, and that's going to equal to our distance squared. I'm going to use c to represent distance and write squared. 3 squared is going to be 9, and 4 squared is going to be 16. Adding these two together, we're going to get c squared. 9 plus 16 is going to be 25, so we can say 25 is equal to c squared. Taking the square root of both sides here, we can say that c is equal to 5 units. The distance between our two original points is 5 units long. Here in example two, we're gonna find the distance between negative one comma five and four comma negative seven. Let's start by finding our horizontal and vertical distances. To find the horizontal distance, let's add the absolute values of their x coordinates. The absolute value of negative one is one, and the absolute value of four is four. One plus four is gonna be five, so we know the horizontal distance is five units. For the vertical distance, we're gonna add the absolute values of their y values here. The absolute value of five is gonna be five, and the absolute value of negative seven is seven. Five plus seven is 12, so our vertical distance is 12 units. Here we have our formula of horizontal distance squared plus vertical distance squared is equal to the distance squared. Substituting in here, we have five squared 
plus 12 squared is going to be equal to the distance or c squared. 5 squared here is going to be 25 and 12 squared here is going to be 144. The sum of these two squares is going to be equal to c squared. 25 plus 144 is 169 and that's equal to c squared. Taking the square root of both sides here, we find that c is going to be equal to 13 units. The distance between the two original points is exactly 13 units. Now let's try example 3 together. To find the horizontal distance, we're going to add the absolute values of the x-coordinates. The absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of negative 5. The absolute value of 3 is 3, and the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, so our horizontal distance is 8 units. For our vertical distance, we're going to add the absolute value of our y-coordinates. We have the absolute value of negative 2 plus the absolute value of 13. The absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, and the absolute value of 13 is 13. 2 plus 13 is going to be 15, so our vertical distance is 15 units. Let's substitute the distances we found into the formula. Here we're going to have 8 squared plus 15 squared, and that's going to be equal to the distance, or c squared. 8 squared here is going to be 64, and 15 squared here is going to be 225. Adding these two squares together, we'll get c squared. 64 plus 225 is 289, and that's equal to c squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we find out that c is going to be equal to 17 units. The distance between the two original points is 17 units apart. In example 4, let's find the distance between 2 comma negative 7 and negative 3 comma 8. To find the horizontal distance, we're going to add the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of negative 3. From this, we're going to get 2 plus 3, which is going to be 5 units. To get the vertical distance, we're going to have to add the absolute value of negative 7 plus the absolute value of 8. From this, we're going to get 7 plus 8, which is going to be 15 units. Plugging in our distances, we'll get 5 squared plus 15 squared is equal to c squared. 5 squared here is just going to be 25, and 15 squared is going to be 225. Adding these two together, we'll get c squared. 25 plus 225 is going to be 250, and that's equal to c squared. To find the value of c, we have to take the square root of both sides here. Since 250 is not a perfect square, the square root of it is going to be an irrational number. In this case, the square root of 250 is approximately equal to 15.81. Whenever you have a non-perfect square at this step, you will get a never-ending decimal that has no pattern. In this example, we can say the distance is approximately 15.81 units. And here's our last example. We're going to find the distance between negative 2.3,4.5 and 7.8,1.5. To find the horizontal distance, we're going to add the absolute value of negative 2.3 to the absolute value of 7.8. From this, we're going to get 2.3 plus 7.8, which is just equal to 10.1 units. To get the vertical distance, we're going to take the absolute value of 4.5 and subtract the absolute value of 1.5. From that, we're going to get 4.5 minus 1.5, and that's just equal to 3 units. Plugging these distances in, we're going to get 10.1 squared plus 3 squared is going to be equal to c squared. 10.1 squared is going to equal 102.01, and 3 squared is going to equal 9. The sum of these two squares is equal to c squared. Added together, these numbers on the left are going to get us 111.01, and that's equal to c squared. In our last step here, we're going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 111.01 is approximately 10.54. Here we found the approximate distance between the two original points is about 10.54 units long. While this formula works for points that are diagonal from each other, it also works for points that are horizontal or vertical from each other. If you found this video useful, please consider liking the video and letting me know in the comments section below. Also, if there's a concept you'd like me to make a video on, please let me know in the comments section. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next one.